hello you guys welcome back to my channel so i'm back again with another pick a card reading this pick a card reading will be um new love coming in for you very soon so i have four piles to choose from the first pile will be this couple taking a selfie together looks like they're out on a date having fun second pile will be this couple watching pocahontas on a projector screen looks very romantic and the third pile will be this couple here where the guy is like holding her and then the third pile will be this aesthetic pleasing um green fit that they have put together it looks really really nice so um use your intuition and i'll see you at your reading so if you chose the first picture with the couple like cuddling i didn't even cuddling just <laughs> both look like they're very happy very pleased then this will be your reading on new love coming in for you power one oh your new love interest act like look like anything that really comes through Here we got, hmm, I might pull it out in a second. As soon as I cut the deck, <laughs> the lovers. So this coming in for you could be a Gemini, or it could be your twin flame, or it could be a, a like a high a high connection soulmate, like somebody that you learn lessons with, somebody that is there for you during like your darkest moments, or somebody there that somebody that's coming in that's gonna reflect like your yourself your inner self um could reflect all your fears all your insecurities coming in or it could be a fire sign because i feel like they'll be very passionate about you as well with the lovers coming out i wanted to show its face so how will your new love and trust your crush acts towards you or just how you know it's them for how one. I just got a, I could have swore a card flipped over. I thought a card flipped over. Mm. Ooh, it could be a cancer coming in for you. Pile one. Yeah, I feel like this person is definitely going to be your like other half. You're going to feel like this person is your other half. You're going to feel like you're going to like this. This pile, I feel like you guys are just going to have a lot of freaking fun. You guys are going to be very creative together. This person is going to get you like if you've been going through like depression or like that dark time. This person is going to be like your light attribute. Like this person is going to uplift you. This person is going to want to have fun. This person want to keep things super light, super not heavy. Because I think most of the time for this pile... Um, you you can go really deep sometimes. Um, you can go really yeah, really really deep in your emotions. You like to like cut people off. You like to just ghost people. You like to just you could be an introvert because you need time to like actually like you could have a lot of deep 
deep deep thoughts and like sub you like to tap into your subconscious mind but with this person they're the complete opposite so like they don't really like to get too deep that often they like to like keep it light fun um they like to just try new things they like physical i think for them they like physical touch a lot um and i feel like for you you like um mental stimulation like you like inner stimulation this person likes outer stimulation so what gets them i feel like actually when you guys if you guys get intimate in that way like sexually as well it's going to be like very different for both parties so for you they might have to turn you on like mentally um emotionally things that are like in your inner self and for them it's like they're more physical touch so like you have to turn them on by like you know like turning them on through that sensory like touch feeling kissing licking spitting and all of that like but for you it's more so like i think the foreplay for you so like i feel like all, all in all when you guys have that sexual union it would be like amazing like how this um thing is just popping off i feel like both of you guys will like ignite or, like a spark in each other so that's why i feel like the person your new love interest coming in could definitely be your twin flame or it could feel like a twin flame connection um, they could be a Cancer or a Gemini because I got the Chariot and the Lovers wanted to show its face. So for you, Power One, it could definitely be a Water Sign or an Air Sign. Yeah, it says get out of your comfort zone right here. If you can see, I'm not really sure. Um, let me try to. I don't want to try to zoom in because last time it didn't really work. But it says get out of your comfort zone. I don't know. Ooh, for some of you to draw this person in, if you haven't met them already, you should get this appetite. You should get this. You should go to the crystal store and get this exact crystal and kind of like meditate over it, rub it a little bit, and I feel like you'll really, really draw this person in with a chariot because that's all about movement, right? That spiritual movement that kind of like draw their spirit in towards you. Um, so I celebrate the little things in everyday life. Don't push it yet. So once you like go with the flow and you like start to enjoy, like this person's gonna come in and really like make your world just pop. Like yeah, pop. With it looks like champagne. You guys might just like to party. Like when you if you don't like to party now, you're gonna want to party with this person, or you're gonna want to go to different clubs. You're gonna want to be out there. You want to be because I feel like this person likes to show their girlfriend off, show their boyfriend off. So. If you're just like the shy type, you're gonna kind of have to grow out of it. Yeah, get out of you're gonna have to get out of your comfort zone with this person. Like the new love, your new love interest coming in is like your complete opposite. Like how like this is like black and white. It's like your complete opposite, but like opposites attract. I don't know. It's like you guys might even like not get along at first. Like the talking stage, you guys it might be difficult for you guys, but then you guys are gonna grow to actually be very understanding towards each other on why you guys act so differently yeah because you guys probably have for this pile you guys are gonna have like a different love language but i feel like both of you guys are willing to compromise like you guys aren't too stubborn you guys are like willing to listen and i think in this pile i think you're over like the serious relationships you just want something to make you happy yeah you want a healing happy um person like you're new, I feel like you're manifesting them already. You just want to be happy emotionally. I feel like, yeah, you want to, you want this light attribute. You want to, I feel like you're tired of tapping in so deep. Um, yeah, definitely coming in is definitely could be air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, for majority of you guys, it's going to be a Gemini though, but it's all air sign. I'm feeling like a lot of air sign and water, or it could just be an air sign with like a cancer moon or something like that. Let me got this card. I want to flip for your love interest, Paul. One. That's the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Coins. Eight of Money. This person coming in is definitely hard worker. They def they definitely take their craft seriously, especially if they're Cancer. Don't have to be, but I'm feeling like they're very passionate about their work as well. So if you're like the clean type you like to cling on you're gonna have to learn to, yeah, to get out of your comfort zone you're gonna have to learn to like compromise so this person's at work you need to know that they work i don't want to say work comes first with this person but i'm kind of am getting that so this is how you'll know who this person is coming in for you like your new love interest um they take their work very seriously they often put their work first but when it comes to but you'll still be like their second priority if that makes sense you know what i mean so like don't get if you're like the jealous type and you like you know don't run this person off and feeling like yeah don't push the river let it flow wow it's all coming together so like don't push this person don't 
because I'm this way too like I need my I need like if I really like someone I'm very very clingy and I I'm less understanding when it comes to their time I feel like I should be first priority but I feel like with this person though yeah they could be earth sign too why am I getting like Capricorn yeah any earth sign so earth sign water sign and air sign so far earth sign water sign air sign yeah for this pal yeah but it's like they put their work first so you're just gonna have to be understanding and know that you are their priority it's just you're not so much the first priority because they do take finances very very serious in this pile like they might have went through something in their life that forced them to put their finances first like they take their finances very 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 seriously like before relationships I guess because they know that relationships are kind of like temporary or all relationships don't last. But I feel like with you, if you become very understanding and you let things just go like flow when you under and you trust that it's not a third party going on. Like if you've been cheated on before, and you just like just trust. Like look how like calm she looks. Like she looks very calm and like unbothered. Like if you just um, don't go too much into your head because I feel like you tend to do this part one where you just go deep inside your head and your thoughts and sometimes you you don't know what's true and what's not true in your thoughts so I wouldn't manifest this person like I don't know I feel like this person overall is going to treat you very well but they are going to come in like very like this person could be like very flirty as well so like how you know who this is like the, they're very flirty like very flirty and friendly so if you are the um, jealous type or like you like, you're very possessive, oh, <laughs> this person is probably going to get on your nerves at first, like, because they are very talkative. They are a people's person. They Everybody's drawn to them. Um, they could get a lot of attention from both sexes. I'm not going to lie. Both sexes get turned on by them or are very attracted to them. Like, they're just like a people's person. That's why I'm getting like they're an extrovert and they're like light, fun outgoing hopping from subject to subject person to person but i don't feel like it's like you know what i mean this person is just very like why am i getting like unicorns and like butterflies and like somebody that just doesn't, doesn't stay put so they could also have adhd and this is why they love working as well they probably have a job that's very hands-on or something as well or they might have multiple jobs so yeah you're gonna have to learn patience you're gonna have to like let everything flow together if you really look like like or love this person i feel like you might grow into loving them because i almost said love at first so as long as you like just be patient with this person because they might have multiple jobs how you know that who your lo new love interest is is that they are gonna have multiple jobs or a job that's like um involves their hands so they can't text you all the time they can't call you all the time because they're working with their hands or they have multiple businesses and companies and stuff like to run all by themselves it could be like a manager they could be a ceo they could be an entrepreneur it's just something that basically they, their job requires most of their attention and their job is like not a regular job or it could be a regular job but it's like they get calls non-stop like because they're the main person i'm getting for this pile like this person's like the the leader or like the boss or something they have a higher for this pile they do have a high position in their job because they work very hard for it i, I think this is why they celebrate so hard this is why they party so hard this is why they love interacting with people um and this is why they're so good at interacting with people because they are used to it because they are a businessman or they sell things they have to like pro um convince people to like buy their stuff or something like that they're really good at marketing is what i'm getting they're just really good at like you know selling a dream so i feel like this person's also like almost gonna sweep you off your feet with the things that they say to you like they could this person coming in could be like a sweet talker um king of pentacles yeah definitely could be an earth sign or aquarius uh, air sign king of pentacles energy yeah, i really getting that this person does not play about their money do not play about their money. But I am feeling like this person could have been homeless. And this is why they don't play about their money. Yeah, with the with in reverse. They could have had like times where they were less fortunate, um, where they went through a war, where they went through a karmic cycle and they were actually homeless, you know what I mean? So you know, they were like pushed into putting their business finances first, not love. Ace of Wands in reverse, so up, right? Doesn't matter. I don't really read my stuff reversal. Um, so with the Ace of Wands, could be a fire sign as well. 
So all signs are really here. Or this person could like, like I said, this person has a lot of energy. So they, they could also burn themselves a lot. Geminis tend to burn themselves a lot, out a lot. A lot of air signs tend to burn themselves out a lot. So like I said, you need to be patient with this person. New love interest coming in for you because they like put all the energy and effort into their projects. They're creative. Even if they just like art or they just build something. I don't know. This person could actually like be a construction worker. They could be an artist for like, you know, a hobby, a side job. They could be a cook. They like cook um, a lot of meals, they prepare, they do like Uber Eats or they just do a lot of things that requires them to like burn off a lot of energy. Um, but I don't, it's like this person just has a lot of energy because I feel like they'll, they wouldn't even be too tired. Sometimes they would be too tired to like um, talk to you all the time. This is why I'm feeling like don't freak out for this pile if you are the clean type and you are the one, you're like the girlfriend, boyfriend that needs to know if you're like significant other is safe or not or if they're like cheating or something or you just like to assume a lot this would be like somebody that would teach you yeah i am getting this might be a twin twin that's going to teach you lessons coming in or a soulmate that's going to teach you lessons about assumptions and about manifesting things that aren't true and like freaking out i feel like this person is going to like you're going to this person is going to get on your nerves like this person is going to give you tired moments um, and this person, yeah, this person is going to trigger you though. I'm not going to lie. If you aren't used to, you know, a like person that puts their work first. Then we got the three of swords. Yeah, didn't I say that you're going to be triggered by this person? Hella triggered. Like you guys might even like, I'm, I'm picturing the five of wands. I know that didn't come out, but I'm feeling like with the three of swords though next to the ace of wands, it's giving me like that five of wands energy where it's like a lot of misunderstandings will come because of like finances um about work and about like yeah basically just work and like time like time management in this pile i feel like it's going to be like very like a breaking either a breaking point or it's going to make you learn a lot of things about patience and about both of you guys needing more time management because you could also be a hard worker so this person could be like your twin um so in this part i'm feeling like you guys are going to struggle with time management and this is going to bring a lot of heartbreak or a lot of misunderstandings or a lot of arguments or a lot of like assumptions that are true and like everything just being like very like up in the air or you know what i mean like just overthinking or not thinking enough not thinking about the other person how the other person would feel if you just fell asleep and didn't text them or if you were knew you guys were supposed to go on a date and then somehow somebody just forgot to text the other person and tell them that they couldn't show up at that time and then it kind of looks like somebody was left hanging or somebody was like um just didn't show up to the date and now you're broken you're heartbroken you think this person's not into you but i'm really feeling like the like it's just time management with them is really really like hard for them maybe because they're doing all of this by their by themselves like work or business or whatever it is management whatever it's like when people call them in they need to come in right then and there even if they like set a date up with you even if they set up a time it's like if, if work is calling and somebody needs like you know you know what i mean if you have um, especially if this person has employees or people that depend on them like family members kids whatever it is um whenever work is calling they answer and that might like seem like them brushing you off or blowing you off and you might actually get hella triggered cuss them out um but i don't feel like your new love is just being malicious it's just especially if they're cancer they really put up they put they're very family oriented as well especially if they take care of their family um or you know what i mean so I really feel like you will be very interested in them, especially with the celebrated little things in everyday life, because they are the type to like make you laugh, swear with you, give you a lot of compliments. Like when you guys do get time to spend time together, what I'm getting is that you guys, you won't get enough of them. Like you'll want their time all the time. This is why you might latch onto them, cling on to them, assume things because a lot of people are drawn to them, both sexes. They are very attractive so you will like really miss them a lot is what i'm getting and that's not a bad thing like jealousy and missing someone is not a bad thing that means that they're doing their part right right because if you didn't they didn't you know what i mean if you weren't sweating them then they're like what is the point of like dating them talking to them so that's what i have for you pal one if it did resonate please like comment subscribe and i'll see you in my next post 
hello pal two welcome to your reading so if you chose the like outside scenery with a couple watching a movie on like a what are those things called don't come for me in the comments but they're watching pocahontas and it looks very like romantic um oh yeah projected that's what it's called it looks very romantic like i'm not even gonna lie even though it's something simple it looks very romantic so we're gonna tap into your new love coming in So, hmm. take pleasure in things you do Follow your dreams and hope will find you in unforeseen ways. Hmm. It's okay to go after what you want. It might it might just want you to and like look at the little guy. Oh my gosh, you like fishing for him. It's like <laughs> that is so cute to me. That is so cute. That is adorable. <laughs> it's okay to go after what you want. It might just want you to so this might honestly i'm getting for this part this might be somebody that you are already have a crush on like this is somebody that you had doubts about this is somebody that you've been eyeing for a long time this has been a ongoing crush for you like intimate crush like the crush doesn't even know that you're really crushing on them that's that's how like uh, um, reserved you could come off or how reserved you know you are it's like you're very reserved you're very like you don't really like i don't know it's like you you crush a lot but you don't really go for your crushes unless you know you won't you won't re be rejected and i feel like you should grow out of that i know i mean drawn to say you should grow out of your comfort zone and like even if you feel like you'll be rejected by your crush you should still go for it because i'm feeling like with this card it's like your crush might be like internally being your mirror which means like they're crushing on you too but they don't want to be rejected either but they're definitely crushing on you back because i feel like it's like she pulled him out of the water and she didn't expect he already had the heart waiting for her so it's like this person is admiring you too from afar could be both of you guys could be admiring each other but you guys don't even know that you guys like each other this could be same sex actually I am getting that even though this is like a heterosexual couple but i am getting that this is same sex and this could be like uh the same sex that you are attracted to but you like you're attracted to their personality if that makes sense or their physical attraction as well but i feel like this might be your first same sex um relationship actually so new love coming up for you for some of you could be same sex and this is your first same sex and this is why both of you are too scared or too shy or feel like the other person isn't into the same sex because maybe you guys both are like heterosexual or this would be both of you guys the same first time pursuing the same sex but for some of you this is just heterosexual and like you guys will you'll meet this person 
for some of you guys will meet this person for some of you guys you already know who i'm talking about for some of you guys you're going to meet this person soon and it's going to come off like this person is just only wanting something but platonic with you but both of you guys are going to grow to want something more but then it's going to be like you guys are going to like have to like i feel like for this pop both of you guys are reserved and this is why it's going to take a little minute for you guys to like warm up with each other get to know each other because i feel like you guys are very shy and um reserved <laughs> And maybe I am getting that some of you, the love, your new love interest coming in might not be as grounded as you. Because it does say, um, ground yourself. And he's like, she looks like she's on a rock. So that's kind of like more so grounded than he is. But then again, it's like, yeah, for some of you, like your love interest isn't going to be as grounded as you. And for some of you, you're not going to be as grounded as them, if that makes sense. So switch the rules, um, the roles, however it pertains to you guys. But I feel like yeah somebody is not going to be as grounded as the other one and this might be why it's going to take a little minute for them to come forth to you or you to come forth to them but i feel like they want you it's just they feel like you might be turned off that they're not financially as grounded as you or this could be my grounded this doesn't mean financially it could just be like ground yourself it could just be like they're not grounded in who they are yet but they see you as like the superstar and they see you as somebody that is grounded in who you are you know who you are you know you're like you probably even like do research on your ancestry um you know where you like this person probably doesn't know who they are their ancestry none of that stuff so it's like for them to come forth to somebody that's so headstrong somebody so that's so like in touch with their sacral their solar plex chakra which is a yellow chakra um your willpower i feel like you're in your power you could be very powerful you could be a divine feminine this could be a divine masculine or both of you guys could be two divine feminines or however it is um or two divine masculines it's like because yeah i'm getting same sex with this pal as well as heterosexual so i feel like yeah follow your dreams and help will find you in foreseen ways dare to dream so both of you guys could be dreamy or this person is going to see you as very dreamy like they're actually going to see you like your new love interest coming in is going to like I feel like how you know this person who this person is is that they're going to ask you a billion questions. They're going to be very into you in that way. Like, they want to, like, kind of pick your brain. They want to just get to know you and, like, why are you so smart? Why are you the way you are? What have you been through to make you so, like, headstrong and so independent? Because for some of you, you could be very independent. Or for some of you, it's, it's the roles reverse. Like, your no love interest is going to be very independent and you are not so in tune with who you are. You know what I mean? It's different for all of you. But he looks really happy being on her little fish thing. <laughs> but both of them look happy. Like, like this masculine looks like happy that she picked him. And that she decided to pick them. Because I feel like this masculine, whoever this is, what we're thinking about, doesn't have the masculine, could be feminine too. But it's like um your crush is gonna be happy that you even chose to pursue this because i feel like in their mind like i said they're very dreamy about you they're always i feel like they're really in the astral plane with you like they're they dream about they could even dream about you a lot or daydream about you like daydream about you like crazy when they first meet you or right now while you're watching this video they daydream about you like crazy and this is something you don't even know or you could daydream about them and they don't even know it because you're too shy to confront them but i feel like the moment you do step out of like you be confident and be bold and come forward they're gonna be happy that you've done this because they were either never gonna do it because they were too shy or felt like you you deserve somebody more somebody more grounded or whatever it's just things that you guys could be in your head a lot but it's like this person just feels like you could have anybody you want because you're a star you're very unique you're very like in independent like they're just they're just very like grateful they're very very grateful very very grateful <laughs> this could, person could just be me manifesting other day you just they could probably think that they're dreaming when you actually pursue them ask them out on a date then we have the three of swords so hmm, that's different that just went um like in another loop so what is the three of swords mm. <sighs> Oh, 
Ooh, okay, so for some of your love interest is going to be inspired by you because you got through a lot of difficult times um, or you got through or the some of you. Yeah, for some of you, they they admire because you you've been through a lot of difficult times and tired moments, but you ultimately came out as a star. I kept saying that they feel like you're a star and they daydream about you a lot. They, they put you on a high pedestal. But I also feel like for some of you, this little new love interest coming in could be an Aquarius, but they also could, they're going to come in after you go through a heartbreak. I don't know if it's somebody that you're going to lose, like a loved one. I don't know if it's just a lot of tower moments that just kill your spirit. I don't know if it's a toxic relationship, an ex that killed your confidence. I don't know what it is, but you, this person's going to come. Yeah, because he has a heart. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh, let me see what I can do now I don't kind of don't want to because last time let's see I don't know if y'all can see but it's like a heart and then it's a broken heart right here so this person could feel like okay for some of you they could feel like your new love interest could be an Aquarius doesn't have to be but there's somebody coming in that's going to heal you and like build your boost your confidence back up but the way they already see you is somebody that's already healed because look how big this feminine is which I feel like is you they feel like you they want to boost your confidence and they are going to come in and boost your confidence but they feel like you don't need it they don't you don't need him but in your mind you want them and you need them like you want them to compliment you and boost you up but i feel like in the way they see you through okay so we're just talking like in their lens so through their lens and through their eyes you don't need an outside source to boost you compliment you to heal you because you are like this beautiful mermaid like you transformed into this beautiful mermaid. So what do you need a man for, a woman for, like let alone a relationship? You don't need any of that. Like this person really admires you. Like this person, I feel like is very romantic as well. So how you know them is they're very romantic and they're very like, um, they like to please. This masculine likes to please. This masculine or feminine likes to please like to put their partners first their f especially like your feelings they consider your feelings before anything they don't want you to feel like overwhelmed stressed they don't want you to feel anxiety they don't want you to feel hurt this person is very thoughtful yeah take pleasure in things you do i feel like they feel like you bring so much pleasure they want to bring you pleasure because you bring them pleasure by just existing like your existence your present by you being present is all they need and they really really want you as bad as you want to as bad as you want them but i feel like at first both of you guys aren't going to see the signs like you guys might even flirt with each other but you both would be like were they flirting with me i don't even know if they were flirting with me like they probably weren't flirting with me like i'm not even like they don't even there it wasn't i didn't like that compliment wasn't even like that it was like friend the way they said it the way they did it the way their face looked like you guys are just gonna be like thinking that the other one doesn't you know what i mean just in your head a lot yeah in your head a lot this also could bring conflict um in your relationship queen of cups this could be a if you, even if you're feminine queen of pentacles so this could be same sex definitely <laughs> um one of you could be in a uh, water sign and the other feminine you could be an earth sign so one of you is definitely more grounded than the other one yeah one of you is like more spiritual probably like in your could be pisces cancer scorpio and the other one's taurus virgo capricorn so one of you is more so in the like like material things like fancy things and one of you guys like more into crystals and like things that like the simple things in life um but even if it's same if it's um different sex it's the same way like one of you could be um a king of cups with a queen of pentacles or a king of cups with a king of pentacles whatever it is flip it you know what i mean so but i am getting like both of you guys are very emotional on this pile or one of you might be more emotional than the other one so basically all earth what we got is earth sign it could be any earth sign any any water sign or any air sign i didn't get really a fire sign yet so majority of you guys are going to be in earth air water coming in and we just got the three of wands so for some of you a slim chance it could be 
uh, fire stamp, but majority of you guys, it's not. It's gonna be like an earth, water, or um, air. Yeah, you guys are gonna be hella shy. Cause this is somebody that's like planning to like come forward, but like kind of like overthinking, but kind of like, you know, trying to come forth the right way or just trying not to, they just oh like thinking or just like, this person likes to admire you a lot. So like, look how he's like looking out into the sky. This person is admiring the view. Like with you, they like to admire you. They just like put you at a high ass pedestal. She's on a fucking moon right now. She's up here. Like she's like, she's like, um, buffed up to be like really, really big in all these. Yeah, she's huge here. She's up on a damn moon. So that means she's big as fuck. She's huge here. So it's like this person puts you on a high ass pedestal and they see what's like, they see you as like a fan, like they see you like a fantasy like lens. Like they see you as like the main character of like a movie. They see you like, <laughs> you ever seen like movies? This is exactly how they, how they see you. Same sex or whatever. It could be same sex or not, but they still see you in this way. Like they could see you as like, you ever seen like, um like the main even if they aren't like you ever seen like the main character when they're like really really crushing on this one girl and like it goes into slow motion and like her hair is like going everywhere and she's like doing something like just regular but it's just so influ amplified this is how this person sees you like doing normal things like this person sees you doing like incredible things and all you could be doing is just washing your hair all you could be doing is just talking to them and like your lips just look everything looks amplified as if they were like on strooms or like drugs or something because this person is just like drunk off of you high off of you this person yeah definitely high off of you because like look at how big she looks compared to him like this person really admires you like looks up to you almost yeah could look up to you could like I don't even think you notice them maybe for this part you won't even notice them at first like you'll think they're just platonic or just a friend you might friend zone them at first yeah you might friend zone them at first or you might be too shy or something but this person definitely is gonna want you at first sight love at first sight or they're gonna feel something at first sight something very much something like definitely a healer they're definitely a healer, healer though or you're a healer one of you in this connection is gonna be a healer But this person with you, they feel like they're unstoppable or they could view you as being unstoppable. They feel high as fuck off of you. Maybe they feel like, yeah, they feel high as fuck. Like they don't feel grounded around you. They feel high as fuck off life. So for some of you, like ground yourself could mean like they need to start seeing you. They don't see you as like a <laughs> human being. They see you as like the the baddie on like a movie screen like the 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 main character's crush the main character's girlfriend like they see you as that like i swear to you they do <laughs> oh my gosh like through their eyes they see you as something less incredible like they probably even stutter around you or they can't speak they feel like they can't speak or they feel like you'll break their heart you like that you'll break their heart because you're just that beautiful and mag like they feel like very drawn to you you feel very you're very magnetic and you're very like aesthetically pleasing as well because hmm. yeah because this she's on a moon and she's a freaking mermaid this person doesn't see you in a regular light they probably see you under like disco lights or just like they see you as like not human i don't know if they're the good thing or bad things to you but they see you as like they're ultimate crush that's definitely a fanboy in this pile like how you know it's gonna be them is there gonna be either an earth sign an air sign water sign i think i said earth already but they're gonna be a fanboy and you're gonna be a prior fangirl or both of you guys are fangirls fanboys of each other definitely for this that's how you know so that's what i have for you pile two if it did resonate please like comment subscribe and i'll see you in my next post Hello, pal three. So if you chose the picture with the guy 
like picking up the girl looks like they just got out of a date or something this will be your reading on your new love coming in for you These are like beautiful crystals, like a beautiful full aesthetic. They all look like different. I don't know if this probably gonna have different options or what. Some of the palette has like more than one option. More than one situation ship or somebody out there. Take action, bring in the light, support it all around you. Yeah, definitely could be more than one option in this pile. you up mm. follow what lights you up hmm. oh i just saw the king of wands in reverse when i split the deck so this could be for you and the king of cups i mean not the king of cups the king of pentacles so what I'm getting though, for some of you, majority of you, this is going to be either either earth sign or a fire sign. And the fire sign in reverse, I don't really read reversals, but I'm feeling like it's definitely if it's a fire sign or an earth sign, I feel like for both though, for like majority of all of you, this is going to be a fire sign or earth sign that's very, very possessive over who they want, what they want, what they expect, very possessive, very like king, like they like to be treated like a king, they like to be respected, um, yeah, they like to be respected, um, they value themselves, they look at themselves as like very highly, very godly, um, so like they, they want to treat you like a queen and like a goddess, um, yeah, so that's like, <laughs> for majority, it could be an Aries or an Aquarius, yeah. Any any um fire signs I'm getting, or like a fire moon. They have a fire moon earth placement or sun placement. New love coming for property. Yeah, cause the picture that you chose is like it looks kind of like he's like dominant, not dominating her, like just picking her up. But it's like he knows she can walk. <laughs> so it's like they might just want to like spoil you like a queen, like a princess. Like royalty, deserve to be treated like royalty. I feel like this person would like drink your bath water, or, like suck your toes. Queen of Cups, lovers, four of wands. Oh my gosh. Mm -mm. No, no, no. You could be a water sign feminine. Or this could be a, I don't know, it could be a water sign. King of Cups energy, or it could be same sex. I was getting some of that. Or a Gemini. But I am getting for sure the majority of you guys, it is going to be a fire sign. They're going to have some type of fire placement where they're very like possessive or don't have to be. But I am getting that they have a fire moon or they have a fire something in their chart if they're not a fire sign. But I'm with the Queen of Cups, the Lovers, and the Four of Wands wanting to be at the... It's going to be like a... Yeah, the Tower. Hmm. And the Wheel of Fortune in Reverse. Whew. very very passionate connection overall if this is like the most passion at all pals well so far this is like so much passion that it might really like take action bring the light this person might yeah light you up <laughs> what i hear light you up what the... <laughs> it's 
Yeah, I'm about to say a good thing. Like, what? Light you up. Okay. This person might literally just make you happy. Like, literally just... I feel like this person is going to make you very emotional. You don't have to be the Queen of Cups. If you're not the Queen of Cups, it just, just means that they're going to be very emotional about you or they're going to make you very emotional about them or they're just going to make you fall in love. First week, first month, first time getting intimate because the lovers are all about desires, about sexual desires, about um, taking action, all of that towards your desires. So I feel like, and they're both naked, so come on. If you guys get intimate, whatever it is, this person's main thing for this pile is to make you fall in love or you're just going to fall in love regardless even if you have other options this person's going to make you fall in love or have some type of emotions for them it doesn't have to be love but you're going to have like like a, we, the tower did come out so you're going to have like a spark within you you might even have a kundalini awakening like you might have thought you had kundalini awakenings, but kundalini awakenings before but this person is definitely going to make you have a kundalini awakening like i don't know if it's going to be more intense with the tower card or it's just gonna like, or this person's gonna change your whole aspect on life with the wheel in reverse. Like this person's gonna like change something about you. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but they're going to change something in your life. They come, they're gonna come around in your life and they're gonna change something in your life. Whether it's your faith, whether it's your beliefs, whether it's your desires, whether it's your sexual desires, whether it's your, like, they're going to change something. I don't know yet, because it's all about, like, this, I'm, I know it's not a volcano, but I'm just picturing a volcano. I'm picturing the tower card um, mixed with the lovers, and that's all about a lot of passion. So I don't know if this person is just, like, going to make you extremely happy as well. I don't know. This person is just giving me, like, a lot of, like, fun vibes as well but like this person is like not gonna play when it comes to you they're not gonna play when it comes to you they're not gonna play about you they don't want anybody playing in your face or being around you this person is like very like protective too about their women very very protective over you like this person I feel like this person will let you be yourself, let you do you, but this person is very protective, like a father, father protective, like it could be, honestly, I think for some of you, they are going to be older than you, for majority of, majority of your will, or have like a beard, or just have, if not a beard, not, if they don't have like that fathering look, for some of you, they are going to look like a, like daddy vibes, but some of you, they're going to look a little younger, but they are older than you, but they're still going to have that protective aura, like you're going to feel protected. You're going to feel like, could feel aroused by them or just, you just feel protected around them. Really, really protected. Like warm around them, safe around them. You're going to be, you're going to feel safe to be yourself around them. Like this person is not judgy at all. They're going to think that you're like pretty funny too. Like they're going to think you're funny as fuck. Or you're gonna think they're funny. They definitely might come in and think that you're a witch though. But they might actually like this. Or they might pick up that you have a very spiritual sense about yourself. Yeah, in this part, I'm feeling like the feminine, whether you're watching for a feminine or you're a feminine watching, I feel like the feminine energy here is very, very spiritual. And you're like, you could be pagan, you could be a witch, you could be whatever you um, identify yourself with, with spirituality. This person's going to pick up on that vibe, like, right off the bat. Knight of Cups. I didn't even shuffle. I didn't even get to flip the cards. It just came out. So yeah, this person definitely, this person probably wants to get to know spirituality. You might teach them about spirituality, about crystals. You might, like, yeah, this person probably is, like, going down a spiritual journey, and this is why you manifested them, and this is when they'll come in for you and with you. I feel like you're going to be, like, the catalyst. Yeah. The feminine here, you're going to be the catalyst for this masculine. 
definitely like a spiritual teacher spiritual guidance but this person is going to be like a protector here on earth so they could be like your gatekeeper they could be somebody on earth to protect you and you're gonna like an exchange it's like a fair energy exchange where you're going to teach them about spirituality and then in return they're always going to be there for you like you guys might actually have like a very like strong bond like as a friendship first or you guys might get sexual first and then it might turn into like a friendship vibe um bond vibe vibration like a yeah it might be really, yeah for this part the new love is just coming in it's going to start out very steamy passionate but this person's going to want to be in your life tapped in with you for life like they're gonna respect you as in like even if you guys don't end up being together this, this person will want to be in your life for forever like they'll want to just see you grow i'm not getting no animals i am getting that they are possessive though when it comes to you like so if somebody tries to fuck you over they're not playing that even if you guys end up not being together they don't want nobody fucking with you <laughs> it's something about them wanting to protect your energy and I don't know if it's because, like, you have nobody around you right now. You're away from family right now. You moved away from family. Or you're not really, in, like, I don't know, something. Even if you are in tune with your family, you talk to your family, it's like this person feels like they're a part of your family now. That's how it's going to feel. It's like your new love interest coming in. They're going to feel like, you guys are going to feel like family. And it's going to feel weird to you guys. That the connection feels like you've already known this person. That's why I feel like they're going to make you fall in love in like a week <laughs> for this pump. <laughs> You're going to fall in love in like 24 hours. You're going to fall in love like the first few hours. Like, come on. This person is going to make you fall in love that first two, three days linking them. Like, you're going to fall in love and you're not even going to really know this person. You just, you can feel the, ener the energetic pull, the energetic attraction, like... Uh, like it's like giving me like fathering vibes so i don't know if you are submissive or something like that but it's just like it's giving me very like masculine vibes whoever this is it's like very masculine protective you could even bear children with them because the queen of cups is a mother so either you have children already or this person going to come in and your new love interest is going to get you pregnant and this is why you'll literally be locked in with them for life. But you guys, I feel like we'll have like a healthy um, co-parenting relationship. Then I got the Queen of Swords. So it could be an air sign that you're watching for as well. Air sign with water in their chart or water sign with air in their chart or just air sign or a water sign or yeah, air sign, it's air sign. So majority of this pile is like giving me water, air, or fire just because i think that the king of cups you yeah, know the king of wands came out when i was shuffling in reverse or it could just be an air and water but they're very very super passionate about you and a little controlling but like a cute controlling and like it's like this person knows when to back off but this person is really controlling and possessive and like protective about you I'm getting that in the world so definitely a new person coming in for you definitely for you pal three like this person i don't know if this person is going to come in during the summer definitely protective vibes definitely gonna feel like it's a nostalgia it's about past memories definitely gonna like i don't know if they're gonna remind you of your dad or your big brother or oh yeah they could feel like a big brother but they're not your big brother of course because you guys in this pile, you guys will be having sex. You guys will be getting intimate. You guys will have like be passionate about each other. But they will feel like a big brother or aware. Like, you know that big brother always gets tower came on again. Ten of cups. Yeah. Definitely going to feel like family. Definitely might get you pregnant. <laughs> Majority of you guys are going to have a baby by this person. But they're still going to want to like emperor. Yeah, emperor and the emperor. So it could be twin flame. Or you guys are going to be literally become parents because of this connection that's gonna cost, start off very steamy but you guys are gonna like view each other as family overall but this person is gonna change and shake some things up in your life whether it's you need to cut off a certain like a lifestyle um a certain job is holding you back a certain something you're gonna cut out a lot of things or realize a lot of things and people don't deserve your energy or your time or this person's gonna literally cut it off for you <laughs> 
cut the people off for you. Yeah, the Queen of Swords, it could be, just picture it as a king or a queen of swords. So you definitely, could, if you don't, if you, because I think you have a kind heart. So if you're slow to cut people off in your life, they're definitely going to step in and help you do that. Because they want to see the best, they want to see you grow. And that's like unconditional love right there. It's like love that's like rare. So this person definitely could come in during the summertime or just right, with, right before the summer. With like a, they have a very big heart. You might have a big heart too. And this is, this could be twin flame or heavy soulmate. I'm not gonna lie. And it could light you up, like they could make you feel, you're gonna, for some of you, yeah, you could have a Kundalini because the lover card is all about like spiritual awakenings, Kundalini, um, sexual encounters, so love desire sex experimental sex so this could be same sex or you guys just could experiment a lot in the bedroom they love experimenting especially if it's a gemini gemini's love experimenting any air sign i feel like is a little curious but i feel like gemini's are really like i don't know i could be wrong um what else am i getting <laughs> get one more full yeah definitely coming in i don't know if they're aries but you're definitely being with them you're gonna realize you don't need to put up with certain things you're too valuable like you're worth more i know the king of queen of pentacles didn't come out but i'm kind of sensing that the way they're gonna value you and the way they're gonna love you and the way they're gonna make love to you is going to make you realize a lot with the queen of swords because maybe, yeah, you're going to be a catalyst for them. But I feel like they're, they're also going to be a catalyst for you where it's like they're going to make you. They're going to be teaching you as well. So it's going to be equal exchange. So they're also your catalyst, but you're going to be more of a catalyst. But they're still going to be a catalyst with the Knight of Cups. For you to realize that you need to cut certain things out of your life. So... Just expect a lot of tower moments because of this person, not in the relationship, but a lot of tower moments when it comes to friendships, when it comes to jobs, when it comes to like outer um, relationships and experiences, because this person is going to love you and help you see things differently in your life. Things that need to be let go of or just things that need to stay that you need to work on because this person wants to see the best for you. You guys might even have an open relationship for this pal because you guys are going to be so like tapped in and so committed to each other and so it's like a fun energy so that's what i have for you pal three if it did resonate please like comment subscribe and i'll see you in my next post hello pal four so if you chose the picture with like the green outfits and the heels and the shoes um basically the couple standing up then this will be your reading on your love interest coming in for you seen this card before get out of your own way wow this crystal looks almost fake now i want these crystals never seen this type of quartz before not even in person so maybe that's how you're gonna feel about the connection like it's gonna be very like weird and awkward at first very like I, don't f I feel like this is going to be like your type, your ultimate type, but I feel like you're not even going to realize that you, I don't know, it's like this person, you're going to feel like this person's out of your league. Yeah, it's love interest, you're going to feel like they're out of your league, but they like you is equally or they like you even more and it's going to kind of like blow you away. 
that they're like you guys might even be a power couple or they view you as their equal and maybe you don't even see yourself as their equal because you're crushing on them so hard but i feel like for this pile it's something that is very like not normal to you or you're just gonna feel like it's not normal um or you're just gonna feel like they're out of your league or that they're very beautiful and handsome maybe you don't view yourself um yeah, get out of your own way. Maybe don't view yourself as that beautiful or that pretty or that handsome or that charming. But you, in their eyes, you are. So you need to get out of your own head and you get out of your own way because you don't want to miss out on this person. Because I feel like this person coming in is going to like sweep you off your damn feet. Like it's going to have you on cloud nine. It's going to have you very happy. They might even do things for you that you've never experienced before. Make you feel a way they, that you never felt before. This person is definitely going to have you head over heels. In this pile, I'm getting like overwhelming love and I'm getting like overwhelming like emotions. And I'm also getting like, you're just going to be like so in love with them. Damn, I'm kind of like, what are they, what are they doing for you, man? I'm kind of scared for you, bro. <laughs> what are they going to be doing that's going to make you like this? Choose what makes you happy, yeah. So I feel like this person is just going to make you, like, look how the picture looks. Well, let me see if I can look at the picture really quick. Yeah, this person is definitely going to turn you on in the bed. Not even, not even just in the bed. Like, they're going to give you a lot of foreplay, too. And they're going to, like, like, this person is going to, like, make you orgasm in the mental realm. Make you orgasm in the spiritual realm. This person has the key to unlock every realm that you're in or every, like, body that you have. Like, aura, physical body, mental body, spiritual body sexual anything this person is just willing to unlock it for you like look at it's like a fish fireworks the sun and it's midnight she's in the ocean like this person might really like take you there like this person won't even have to take off your clothes to make you like climax this person is just gonna like make you climax with like the things they do for you whether that's like mentally whether that's spiritually just being very intimate with you in different ways yeah i feel like you are used to being intimate sexually but the new love interest coming in for you is going to be very intimate in all aspects in all ways maybe they're very like older than you or they have an older soul or they're not too much interested in just sex this person's interested in more than just sex <laughs> for you power four they want to just make you happy and that's might be weird and scary for you maybe you feel like you're not safe in your emotions this person's gonna make you feel very safe in your emotions very safe in your sexual energy very safe in your mental and your thoughts they're gonna make your thoughts feel safe they're gonna make you feel safe to be yourself maybe you're not really you're not really yourself when it comes to like your love interest your crush because you feel like you want to be what they want you to be like you know what i'm saying you want to be their perspective of yourself so you're not really being yourself you're acting out how you feel like you should act so your love interest or your crushes can like you your boyfriend girlfriend can like you but this person is actually going to want to like you for yourself and want to get to know your genuine self so they're going to want to break down your barriers so that's why you need to get out of your own way and break down these walls and as soon as you break down your walls for this new person coming in you're going to have like all of these like different fantasies this person's going to make you teach you more about yourself that you didn't know about yourself if that makes any sense to somebody out there like you're going to feel more connect connected to yourself excuse me more connected to yourself you're gonna feel more in tune with yourself you're gonna feel more turned on by yourself like when you look in the mirror you're gonna be more you're gonna be like turned on you're probably gonna want to masturbate more you're gonna find yourself very sexy and very like beautiful so this person is gonna like basically like brings ecstasy because in this card all i see is like ecstasy she literally looks like she's on a bean. She literally looks like she's like off of a molly or some type of like drug. But this person is just going to like make you feel that good. Make you feel really good. 
be careful you don't get addicted to this person. <laughs> be careful you don't get addicted to them. So that's what I'm what I that's what it's feeling like. Then we got the magician. Um could be a Gemini, don't have to be. I think the magicians any any um air sign really. Any any sign. Cause he has all the elements. So it could be any sign. Um the magician being here for your new love interest. Yes, all elements. Oh my gosh. So this person is definitely new love interest coming in is definitely gonna unlock every element in your body, your soul, your spirit, anything. It's like this person really wants to get to know you down to your root chakra all the way to your crown chakra. And I think there's a few more that's even above your crown chakra that they just wanna unlock. So definitely like a lot of spiritual awakenings for you and this person and about your body and about your physical appearance and about your happiness and about your like you're gonna start to realize how much of a guard you have up being around this person because i feel like this with the infinity sign that's like longevity that's like eternity that's like infinity so i feel like this person definitely is gonna make you feel like you're on some type of being or some type of drug when you're around them because this person might do very intimate things that aren't intimate like that aren't sexually intimate so they might cook for you clean for you talk to you watch movies with you talk to you from hours on in listen to music with you or want to listen to your favorite music um they're gonna be very thoughtful. They're gonna put you first. They're gonna bring you surprises. They're gonna bring you gifts. They're gonna bring you like to ecstasy. This person's really gonna like. If you, they they're definitely gonna make bring you orgasms in bed. <laughs> A lot of orgasms. Look how much water she's in. So this person might even, if you haven't squirted before, this person might even make you squirt. And you might even see stars. But this person might like let me not let me not do a sexual yeah let me not go sexual but i'm gonna just say that for the sexual fantasies <laughs> six of swords Could be a Leo or have Leo placements, or you're a Leo, Leo, or you have, you're Leo, or you have Leo placements. For some of you could be a Leo with a Leo moon. A Leo sun with a Leo moon, or this person has a Leo sun, Leo moon, or just has Leo placements. Or it could be a Gemini with a Libra. I just said Libra, so it could be a Libra. Or they have Libra placements. But I was gonna say it could be a Gemini with a Leo moon or it doesn't it doesn't have to be. The five of wands. Definitely could be a fire sign too. It could be all signs, like I said. Definitely gonna have a lot of good sex with them. Like, like a lot of good sex a lot of good sex might overwhelm you might overpower you might consume you so then we have let me get one more card okay two more <laughs> don't really like the ones who has too many cards let me do one more Justice could definitely be a Libra or have Libra placements. So for this pile, hmm, what else about your new love interest? Could definitely be a fire sign, any sign. For so for them, if you already have kids, they'll definitely want to be a stepdad, stepmom. They don't have a problem with being a stepdad, stepmom. So if you're kind of insecure about that, like it's because it says get out of your own way. If you are insecure because you are a single parent or co-parenting with your baby father, baby mother right now, this person has no problem. This might even shock you as well because they're very attracted to you. 
and you might think like oh they don't want somebody that has like kids outside of them but this person has no problem with having like a blended family yeah with blended cultures or yeah having a blended family don't mind taking your kid in as their own they definitely probably want to marry you for this pile i'm definitely sensing that they want to have some type of marriage some type of legal bond with the justice card because the justice card did come out could definitely be a leo or you guys might have a leo baby but I'm feeling like they definitely want to probably, like, their goal is to get married, so they could be very mature. Even though the Page of Swords came out, even if they're, like, a young fire sign, they could still want to get married. Like, they fantasize a long time about getting married to somebody um, that they feel like is worth it. Like, they do have faith in a monogamous relationship. But for some of you, I feel like, yeah, monogamous for this pile. But I feel like they're going to want you to cut off, like, other options. Yeah. <laughs> With the Knight of Swords right next to it, they're definitely, look how it looks. Definitely looks like he wants to cut off any other option you're talking to. So if you have other options, this person coming in is going to be very stingy, very clingy, and they're going to want you to cut off everybody. And this is how you're going to know this is them, because they're not going to be, like, playing it cool, not really caring if you have options or not. This person's going to let you know they don't want you dealing with nobody else, want you having sex with nobody else. Um, this person just yeah they're really really into you um this person might want to father children of their own with you um especially with other kids if you have no kids at all they still want to have kids with you because there's a child right here they definitely fantasize about having kids one day and getting married and having like the um the white fence in the backyard the dog a cat all of that all of that so i feel like this person is going to they yeah they, they're very traditional um I definitely want to grow old with someone I definitely want to buy a house so if this is something that you're into this is probably why they're coming in because you're manifesting them they're very like um patient with the six of swords um they might be very patient with you but they're gonna be very passionate about you as well very very passionate about you um very stingy with about you as well yeah, this person might be manifesting you in praying for something like this, praying for somebody like you. And when you guys meet, it's going to be, it's going to feel like a spark right away. And it's going to be a lot of great sex. Page of, page of sword, I mean, page of wands is all about new sex, new energy. So if you've been like wanting to have sex with somebody that just doesn't give you like a quickie, doesn't just go like doesn't make you come this person definitely gonna take it all the way with you and make you feel really good um they're just gonna give you a new feeling so i don't know if this is like this could be like a same sex relationship i am getting like same sex for like most most of the pals i am i've never really tapped into same sex that often as much as i am now so i don't know if i have like a lot of like you know that the same sex community on my page now but I'm, I'm liking it so this could be same sex for some of you it doesn't have to be it could be um opposite sex but um i'm getting that the sex will be really good so you won't have to worry about that though and they'll probably want to have sex a lot during the day like they're going to be very like sexually turned on to you and this is why they don't want you having sex with nobody else like the new person coming in they're not going to want you having sex with nobody else flirting with nobody else none of that they could be very stubborn as well with the strength card they could be very like they could get really pissed off and ticked off at certain things like it could be like a guy or a girl looking at you and like they'll get pissed off they get ticked off with the dinosaurs they could have a slick mouth or like a quick temper yeah for this pile how you know it's them your new love is just coming and they have a quick temper a very very quick temper for some of you it might turn you on that they have a quick temper but for some of you it might be a little bit too overwhelming but overall, they're gonna be they're gonna have a very quick temper. Like they, little things are gonna tick them off when it comes to you and people. Like if they feel like yes, yeah, person is gonna want all of your attention. They want to be baby, even if they don't look like a baby. They're like really big, muscular, tall, whatever it is. They look hella masculine or whatever it is. This could be same sex, and they look like they need to be babied or I don't know. It's like. They could be they could come off very independent with the strength card very very independent but they really are like have a soft side and they really are right they, they're a simp really but you could like this that they like are tough on the outside but they're simp on the inside 
they could be both a simp and very like detached when it comes to you um for the four of swords i'm getting that this person would like would love to take naps with you a lot so if you're not used to like taking naps with your significant other, they're gonna love taking naps with you or like you guys are gonna have nap sessions as like dates. <laughs> maybe you love this. Are you gonna start to love like the nap sessions? Cause I feel like maybe you guys both get tired out fast from work. So you guys can't wait to just get off of work and just fall asleep next to your significant other, being intimate in that way as well. Like just being next to your person, it just feels so good to you and to them as well. This person is definitely manifesting you if they haven't met you yet but if you guys have met um recently they're definitely thinking about you a lot and thinking about the next time they're gonna see you like this person is definitely a simp in this pile i feel like a leo like a lot of leos are simps though i feel like leos don't want to any leos or leo placement people that have leo on their chart they don't want to admit how much of a simp they are because i don't care leos are the biggest simps especially over somebody they really care about and love or crushing on or having sex with me and me with they are like the biggest sims ever like they can try to act like you know they can get whoever they want but they definitely act like a simp when they like find that one person that they are into and i feel like this is how they're gonna be with you you're gonna be surprised at how much they are simping over you how much you have them like head over heels for you or how much you have them like jealous because Leos can get jealous as fuck as well. So the Knight of Swords and like the Five of Wands right next to it, they're gonna be hella jealous over you. And this might be a turn on for you. This might even be that make the sex better. That they get so jealous over you, they get so hot headed over you. That might make them I miss you sex. Or even if they're not a Leo placement, any fire placement or fire moon, when they get jealous and possessive, it kind of I feel like it will spark the intimacy will just be hella passionate because i feel like with like any fire moons or placements they want to be like sex to them is like competition sex to them is like how they feel secure in a way because they want you to know that, that you're there sexually and they don't want you going out looking for anything else so i think this is why they're going to be like pleasing you so much is because they want to like mark their territory so this person might even give you hickeys and this is how you know this is your new love interest coming in. They love giving hickeys. They love giving like um, love marks. So I don't know if they're into like BDM, BDM SM or like stuff like they could be. I am getting that for some of you. They might be into like like the little paddles, the whips are just spanking you really hard, sucking your neck really hard, leaving love marks. They love marking their territory in this pile. They don't have a problem with that. They want other people to see it. They want to cause like friction. They want everybody to, that's like an animal thing where like cats or dogs mark their territory or, or, feel, or feel jealous, excuse me, around their owners. They <laughs> make sure they mark their territory. Lions be fighting other lions to mark their territory or the feminine that they're mating with. So I feel like this person is definitely like in the animalistic way about you. And this might turn you on that they're willing to mark their territory literally. So that's what I have for you, Pile 4. If it did resonate, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next post.